Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends of all ages, what's poppin'? One of the major establishment towns he bringing y'all my live reaction to chapter 235 of My Hero Academia. Boku no Hero Academia. Well, it is time. Your boy Makia has arrived to the scene. Your boy Shigaraki is going kinda crazy. You know what I mean? That man is losing his mind. Reed Destro is pulling off the hands one by one, just destroying his hands, seeing them get destroyed. I'm thinking that's possibly what's putting him in all these memory states. He's losing his memories, so he's going through his memories. You know what I mean? He's losing, you know what I mean? The hands being the memories he's losing, and so he's going through the memories in his brain. I think that's what's going on, you know what I'm saying? Boy, Shigaraki Rocky's going crazy. He's using them reflexes that he learned with Makia. He's finally using all of them. So Reed is finally saying, hey, hold up. Hey, this man kind of fast. What's going on here? This man kind of fast. And then Giganto Makia burst into the scene last time. Now I'm just trying to see who's stronger. That boy Reed or that boy Makia. This is like the Hulk versus the Thing right here, right now. Shit, I was not ready for it. Hold on. Well, I mean, I'm lying. I was ready like a motherfucker. We knew, we knew Maki was gonna come through. But it's about that time. Of course, he came through after we find out. Reed Destro about as big as the nigga. <laughs> Hopefully, Shigaraki don't lose his hands. I'm about to get in this mug. I'm impatient. Let's go ahead and get it. Shimura Tenko. Origins. Oh! Oh, shit. So, we getting a Shigaraki chapter? Oh, a Shigaraki chapter. Interesting. Origin. Wait. Wait. We getting one for all things? Hello? This is, hold on, this fucking way! This color spread is clean! Wait, they all, I hate, I actually, I literally hate the color orange with a burning passion. But I still think, you know what I mean? I still think this is a clean color page, you know what I mean? Look at your boy All Might chilling, Deku going through the air, same with Baku go. You know what I mean? We see all your important people, they close up. We see the whole class when they everybody big chilling in this mug. And they ugly ass orange. I see y'all. I see y'all. Even Invisible Girl got some orange on. She got some orange sleeves, an orange fucking Moogie Rah Rah hat. <laughs> Hawks got some fucking orange on over there. Fucking Endeavor's over there too, bruh. This is an ugly ass color. Five years is here late, you know what I'm saying? Hey, happy five years, y'all. I'm glad to be a part of this. I'm glad to be a part of it, you know what I'm saying? The generation ascends to a new stage. A new stage? Interesting. The fifth character popularity poll is now open. And so we cut right on back. We see Reed Destro. He's still looking like when Overhaul fused with the dude whose name I forgot still because I didn't look it up because I didn't care. <laughs> Extracting and materializing my stress. That is the essence of my stress bomb. The ultimate showdown of evil versus evil. Reed Destro, can you hear me? So is this, I'm assuming this is Skeptic still talking. The ultimate technique I've been polishing since my childhood days. Heart is beating, but don't, but don't. It's not something that could be avoided so easy. I was touched. In that instant, it worked. He cast aside his self-preservation instincts, all for the sake of destruction. It's every destro for the sake of your safety, you must. Like my senses are being sharpened. Oh, this, oh, this is Shigaraki, I'm assuming. What do I want to create, you say? As if it all happened yesterday. You already said it yourself, didn't you? Everything is so clear now. Oh my God. So it's like, is this like solidifying Shigaraki's brain as the villain dog? Like, bro, like, I'm fucked dog. Like, y'all, like, hold on. This is fire dog. This is just fire. It is like, I'm assuming that's what it is. It's cementing his brain as, nigga, yes. I want to be the villain. Even villains are showing me that I want to be the villain. All I truly want to do is to destroy. <laughs> and he looks completely happy with that. He looks completely happy. Hands off his face, he looking at the hands now, no hands on. And Redesto said, then disappear. A world without creation bears no future. Since when do we ever need a future? So God, bro, this panel between Shigaraki and Redesto. Redesto is massive, uh, towering over Shigaraki. And then we go back to memory mode. Thank you so, so much. I'm really, truly sorry for the trouble he's caused. Seriously, I'll be sure to set him straight. And then we cut back to this house. I'm assuming this is Shigaraki and his childhood and all that. He got in trouble for pretending to be a hero again. Oh, Shigaraki wanted to be a hero. Interesting. And he's like, ah, let me go. And she's like, stop, Kotaru son. Let's not get violent. He's like, no, stop. If you want me to stop and start listening, he's like, I don't want to, dad, stop. Within our house, we had rules, or rather, just one rule that my father made. He's like, Kotaru son. So. 
We see why he might not have liked heroes, goddamn. Why he got this referee suit on? What, is he, what does he do for a living? Any talk of heroes was forbidden. And so this is Shimura Tenko, age five. Oh man, just chilling in the corner, crying, black hair instead of white eyes. You see, he, his, he's still kind of grainy right now. Maybe that's because of his quirk, maybe it's not, I don't know. Maybe it's because he's always crying that his eyes are like that, you know what I mean? Just swelled up at the bottom. It just used to having water, you know what I'm saying? And then that, so they locked him out the house? Bro, they locked him out the house, well not they, he locked him out the house for, for trying to be, a, well, being a hero at school? Not even at home, at school? But he got in trouble, I guess, so if he got in trouble. What did he get in trouble for? That's crazy. He said, don't let him in until he apologizes. But then it's ready, plus his allergies are getting worse. He sat down, he said, rules are rules. And then aunt's like, don't you think you've been a little too strict lately? He said for his quirk to have not shown up at this age, if he doesn't have one, he'll be the one that ends up devastated, you know? Dreams of becoming a hero can only result in unhappiness. J what? Only? What about the heroes that are happy? What <laughs> Wait, you, that's, that's a whole percentile that you're missing. What do you mean, only? That word just isn't true. He said, don't you agree, father, mother? And so these are, never mind, not aunt, these are grandma, grandpa. So his sister's even looking back too, you see him say, my father was a businessman and made a fortune quite early on. He built this two family house and invited his in-laws to live with him. He's like, now, now, no more scratching, okay? He's like, but it itches. It's unfortunate that we don't know what you're allergic to. It only itches at home. Oh man, because, oh man, it only itches at home because he's crying. He only cries at home. So he only has to touch his face at home. Dog, what a childhood, that's crazy. She's like, and then mom's like, hey Tenko, you still wanna be a hero, don't you? He's like, yeah, Mikun always leaves me out. Tomo-chan does too. And so you can see him scratching his face. I asked Mikun if we could play together, right? I asked him if he wanted to play heroes with me. It was so fun. And then afterwards, he said, Tenchan, you're just like All Might. He said it because I'm nice and I played with him even when he left me out. Yo, he, want, <laughs> he wants to be like, not want to be like All Might, but he somebody told him he's like All Might, he wants to be a hero. Yo, what? Shigaraki's came a long way from going to this to wanting to destroy everything. And so he hugs it. Hey mom, why doesn't dad let me? Is it because he hates me? Is it because I don't have a quirk yet? Of course your father doesn't hate you. It's just, he knows how hard being a hero is. And he looks down, sad. Children can be surprisingly self-centered and straightforward. Bro, <laughs> very self-centered and very straightforward. All kids can tell you that real life, manga kids, hell yeah, very straightforward. If a kid call you ugly, you probably ugly. <laughs> and then so you cut to see him sitting with a bunch of different family members. The words of a grown up are absolute. That's why I wanted to hear it from you all. All I wanted was that one phrase, you can be a hero, damn. The house my father built, it continued to quietly deny me. Every, oh man, because he built the house, his house, his rules, you can't go against his rules. Don't talk about, don't talk to my son in this type of way about him being a hero, nothing like that, nah. Nah, don't do none of that, damn. In a normal house, in a normal house, in a rich house, shit. They say he made a fort in a rich house. And they all, oh, shit, they bring out a picture of a hero grandma. All for well, one for all grandma. I said all for one. It's a secret. This person's apparently our grandma, so it's a secret? She was a hero. Hanachan, wh why are you showing me? She said, even though dad said all that, it'll be all right, because I'll always be cheering for you, Tenko. Let's keep it a secret from dad and become hero siblings. And he's like... Yeah, he's about to cry, bro. He's about to cry. He's like, yeah, hero sim, bro. What? Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm not ready to see what he did to his family. That day was blisteringly hot and humid. Grandma was a hero. There was a hero in our family. Man's just smiling. Hey, Monchan. Now I feel like I can handle whatever challenges come my way. And so he throw the ball. And I guess his hand hurts from whatever whatever he's like oh shit and then he looks down at his hand and he, oh shit oh shit <laughs> his dad's behind him tank up you in my office didn't you the post rain moisture hanging in the air you saw didn't you pierced my irritated skin like needles yo whoa hold on he's about to wait look at the stature 
Look at the stance. Look at that anger. Look at the horrific. Bro, he looks horrified. The itch sprung out of, from the depths of my stomach. The itch. Oh, the itch. Oh, the itch. She's like, what? But Tinko, Tinko said he wanted to see it. Wait, what? 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 Tinko said he wanted to see it. No, what? You. What? Did she just lie on him? Am I chip? Tinko said. There's no way she just lied on him like that. That's the. Oh, uh, that's wild. Children can be surprisingly self centered and straightforward. They did not say truthful. That boy raised that hand up. Hit him with the whop. Ooh, I'm gonna be real. I got whoopings. I never got slapped, boy. I never got slapped. God, damn, even at, like whoopings and shit. Okay, on the booty, that's one thing. My mama never slapped me across my face. Not never. Not never. So, like, sheesh. God damn. And she's like, Kotaro son. The dog just barking. Hey, man, stop touching my little homie, dog. That person wasn't your grandmother. He didn't even say that. Didn't nobody say, bro, well, how would he have known that that would have maybe him been the grandmother? How would he have known that? Why are you just, dog, this nigga trash, dog. What did this dude go through? That, know what I'm saying? He said that was a demon that threw away her own children. God damn, listen up. A hero is only someone who hurts their own family. They're just looking in horror. Just help, please. Don't watch. He's like, someone save me. Anyone. For the sake of helping others. Someone who hurts their own family for the sake of hurt helping others. That's that how that works. This house, he raised a hand up again. Was one my father built. You just see the you just see the sound effects of another slap. Fuck. You just damn. So he was abused, abused, like abused, abused. The family didn't do nothing about it. He was he was physically abused. The family didn't do nothing about it. He was mentally abused. The family aided in doing so. Even the sister lied on him. Like this sister who's like, I'm rooting for you forever. Your one maybe shining hope glimmer. She just said, fuck you right there. Like what? And crying and holding mama too. Mama the only one that like, sees Tenko like for what he is not season 40 years but you know what I'm saying he's the, she's the only one that loves loves apparently so sister went to the mama you can't go to mama it's, it's you and dad and that slap god damn and then some time passed you see him standing in his office looking at a letter crumbled up folded I'm sorry for leaving you all of a sudden your mother has to fight with some really bad guys from now on they might even come and do bad things to you Kotaro that's why I have to keep my distance from it. But it's like, I get it. But like, that's, I get it. But it's like, trash, but I get it. You know what I'm saying? And she's like, I'm sorry I couldn't be a good mother for you. You might end up hating me for doing this. But I'll always love you, Kotaru. I love you, Kotaru. I hope you can live on. Always and happy smiling. Your mother will always be watching over you from above. He's like, if only she'd hated me instead. What? Like, but like... What do you mean? She loved, like, she even told you she loved you. I get it. He held a grudge. But, like, bro, like, she said she, you know she loved you. Like, oh, man. Damn. I wonder what her quirk was. I wonder what she was going through. I wonder who was, like, all for, was she, like, that was all for one, huh? Like, it had to have been. Maybe that's why, maybe, like, something, whatever happened to her is why all for one figured out about Shigaraki in the first place. And then they come into his room. She said, that's enough. He's like, I went too far. Where are they now? Okay, he said, I went too far. Okay, that's that's one thing. The mental abuse was already fucking too far, but we'll, okay. And she said, if you're gonna resort to violence, then I can't abide by your rules. Didn't you say you wanted to build a happy family? He said, I didn't mean for it to end up like this. And Shigaraki just outside again, locked out, crying, hiccup, just sad. Got the dog in his hand. Man, like... So it's, it's all mental with Shigaraki. His quirk is just disintegration. Yeah, I don't think it has anything to do with five head, five fingers because the five, he got five fingers on the dog right now, clutching his parrot. Dog's living, living. And he's like crying. No, oh, I hate this. He hiccuping and everything. He's like, Monchan, I can't take it anymore. I, I just hate everyone. Oh, that's how it began. Was the dog the first victim? I hope not. I hope I'm wrong as fuck because I, they are very much zooming in 
on like his hand in like this dog's eyes and like dog no Shigaraki you ain't no his kindness disintegrates oh no not the dog not the dog bro no don't do the dog please don't no they can't do it to the not the puppy no not Moonshine nigga no wait hold on bro this is not it's not the chapter I thought we was gonna get, but I'm glad we got this chapter, you know what I'm saying? Shigaraki past origins. We get to see behind the mirror. Yo, this man was ab abused with an understand. That man was mentally abused, physically abused, both of them in the same house. Family was just going along with it. And to, obviously until it's too late. It's fucking too, like this is, this looks like the day. The day, day. We already got little glimpses of what he did to his fam, but like, what brought him to it? It's looking like this is it. So it's like, obviously, you realize you were, you went too far, too late. He was already mentally abusing a kid, physically abusing a kid for five years. His five years. So it's like, what the fuck? How you do that, man? How do you do that? Like, and not pay attention to the fact that you, I don't know, locking your kid out. Oh, I don't know. Making him cry. She like that. I don't, I don't understand. Like, I, like, I get his grudge against his mom. But it's like, he don't think that, like, his son and him, like, that there's no correlation between that. You know what I'm saying? Like, father, like, son. He's looking like the same cycle, you know what I mean? Cycle to me. If his mom was bad for leaving. He's doing exactly what his mom did, but worse. Shit, he's he's doing literally worse than his mom did him. He if he if he actually left, things would just be better. <laughs> if he left, shit would literally just be better for fucking Shigaraki. So like, come on, man. It actually didn't have to be like this. He his father created the demon. His father created him. His father created him. Now that's in the most literal sense too. His father created him, and his father created him. But I'm not surprised though, you know what I mean? It be humans that fuck over other humans. <laughs> it, it really do be like that. I just, I just hope that <laughs> this dog ain't the first victim. I hope the dog ran away. I hope the dog managed to get out. I hope he let him go. I mean, I hope he hated everyone except this specific dog and he let the dog go and the dog lived happily ever after because you can't kill this dog, man. You can't kill this puppy dog. You don't do it, dog. Do it, Shigaraki. So now I'm interested in seeing what exactly was attacking her. Why was she, what, what was so detrimental that she just had to say forget her whole family. Not forget her family, but like, I can't be around y'all. It's too dangerous. And I had to be, I'm thinking it was all for one. Like, I'm thinking, I'm thinking obviously it was all for one. And then like, something happened to her. And she had like, how did she spill the beans about Shigaraki? Like, I don't know how she spilled the beans about Shigaraki. But I'm thinking, emphasis on thinking, if something happened to her... And like, if, uh, I think this is you, Mr. Twitch, I'm pretty sure it was you. But it had something to do with like her quirk, I'd assume. Because there's no way all for one would just look for her grandson specifically to, to look over it. To be like all for one or something like that. So maybe either A, like tortured her or something like that. And she spilled the beans about her family, which I literally doubt all the way whatsoever. No matter what, I just doubt it. 100% doubt it. Yeah, I could, I like see like grandma. She get tortured with every bro. She was a one for all use. There's no way she's giving up her kids and grandson, nothing like that. So I'm thinking maybe all for one, like whatever her quirk was, it was so fire that all for one was like, yo, give me her, give me the son, grandson, that whole family. Give me, <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. That is what I'm thinking. Mr. Twitchy put me on to that though. Shout out to him again. Man's be out here writing essays. And I appreciate it. Hey, anybody, I'm saying, let me know what y'all be thinking about these chapters below. I'll reply to all the comments. I love seeing theories and shit like that and responding to them. But as far as this live reaction goes, pretty much all I got for y'all this time around. So like I always say, leave a like, comment, subscribe, pull up to the Twitch stream. Y'all know we be hitting them 100, 100 reactions and pull up to the Discord. And y'all have a good one.